I'm 14 years old. I live in Lexington, Kentucky, and I don't really think I've found a label that really works for me. I remember when I was coming out, when I needed that support, I just went up to this like open lesbian in my school and I was like, so what are your thoughts about Ellen DeGeneres? <laughs> like, like just like stuff like that. I was so awkward and I still really am, but I'm just like, I don't even look that gay except for my hair. I got a pixie cut because a friend of the family had cancer. So I was like, I'm donating my hair and I actually cut off 16 inches. Then when I came back to school with my new haircut, everybody was like, are you gay? <laughs> Being closeted, you're very sensitive. If somebody mentions the word gay, you're like, oh my gosh, how did they know? I'll usually tell somebody that I'm bisexual if I'm like just talking to them because it's easy for people to understand. But you know, I really don't talk about it very much. I don't go around being like, I like girls, which sometimes it feels like that. If I ever like mention it, I'm like, I must be like so annoying, barking rainbows at everybody. I wish other kids would understand that if somebody is LGBT, there's nothing wrong with them. They're just different than them. I think that people often confuse something being different and something being wrong. My perfect future. Part of me really wants to move to California and have a small studio apartment near LA and make music and direct short films. And then there's the other part of me is like, I also want to become a cancer researcher. There was a while when I used to read medical textbooks before I went to bed. The only consistent thing is that I really want to have a corgi. I love all dogs. I love all dogs. I don't discriminate. They're all so sweet. But I, the corgis are just so fluffy and I just really want to hold one.